Hi students, today our topic is still life painting with water colors. To make this still life painting we require one chart paper and water colors or poster colors, two containers of water. brushes, one point brush like two or one number brush and one flat brush, the number is like 12 or 10 number brush you can take, must be in round, pencil and palette or any plate and cloth. First we have to draw the still life drawing. I am taking three objects together in that two things are fruits and one thing is like steel object. Today you are going to learn how to color the steel objects and fruits using water colors. This way I did the drawing of the steel object. Here left side I left some more portion of the space and here less portion of the space I left. Now here I am drawing say holder and here the handle of the check, the steel object handle And first you have to take symmetry line to make it equal size both the sides and it must be straight in alignment. This way you have to draw the light sketch of the object. Now here I am going to draw one green fruit like give or any peer or anything. If you want to draw peer just like this. Green fruit I am drawing here, one here I am drawing like red color fruit, apple, pomegranate, orange anything like apple I am going to draw now just like this. Apple and one green color fruit like this I did. After this reflection, I am going to show inside of this object because this object is in steel. So, that in steel we have to show the reflections of the surrounding objects. Here also the reflection the fruit. The reflection size must be smaller because this is curved object, this is like a cylindrical object so that these reflections we have to show very smaller. It is not like if that is flat object the reflection e must be like a same in size almost similar in size. This way I just a cloth kind of a cloth or one towel for the bottom just this way I did. <coughs> After doing it now we are going to color this. First I am going to paint the background 
background color with the yellow ochre and brown color these two colors I am taking for the back we have to start from the background just if we fill background if we separate the objects from the background then it will be easy to color so first I am doing background and this way of this light sketching must be the drawing must be very very light I am taking these two colors in the parrot brown as well as and a locker. First, I am taking a locker brown. in the parrot and now I am using this brown and yellow ochre mixing together this little light brown we got and this exactly surroundings of this objects I am filling the water quantity must be medium in colors then the color looks little brighter the surroundings of the very quickly you have to spread the color otherwise you will get some patches if you apply quickly you won't get patches in colors this way spread the background very very quickly like this without leaving white gaps edges you can leave here at the end you can leave you no need to fill up the full paper just what percentage of space is required to highlight the objects that much space if you occupy will be enough here with good focus and very perfectly you have to fill only background only background you have to fill the same color everywhere this one after filling this now we have to color the objects to color the object first with the cloth you wipe this used color make it make your palette neat
and now just take light violet you will get light violet by mixing crimson red or dark red and cobalt blue cobalt blue and crimson red if you mix together light violet will get I am taking cobalt blue and crimson red just take cobalt blue aside and mix with the crimson red very very lightly color quantity must be very very less and water must be a bit more and you want to take get colors we have to add water more like this by adding water more you will get the light color here and here in some portion of the water. light color after making this light color take yellow ochre and give the steel effects like straight stripes this way fill till here mm, here leave a bit thin gap at the edge of the object like this thin white gap you have to leave thin white gap after filling it exactly from here to down you have to fill when you filling colors you have to check where the color is starting and where color has to end how much portion it occupied how much portion the color occupied that everything you have to observe very carefully now mixing with brown and filling like this way till this cloth and he till here spreading and leaving some thin white lighting and sharp white lighting here from here again you have to apply same yellow ochre and brown mixed color and bit more till here like this again at the edges like this very thin thin gaps you have to leave the same yellow ochre you have to use even here on top on this cap of this object like this here one patch, here one patch, this one. After doing it, an lock or light you take and keep here one more patch like this till the end. Here, straight to this. Here, like this way. <coughs> After now, we are going to uh, increase the darkness by mixing of this 
brown and this persian blue even cobalt blue brown and cobalt blue you have to mix together you will get the darker brown tone this color you apply here like patches and patch and here and patch. this you have to apply after dry of the first color like this below bottom color what are the first color we applied that has to dry after dry only we have to do this second layer of the tone like darker tone this way here bottom also just make it darker the same mixture of color like brown and blue color these two colors mix together and darkly apply here next here the brown patch we do a bit and here also we give some effects and here some dark portion and here also the same color patch okay. and here at the edges also bit thin thin strokes you have to give okay, like this this way we have done the second layer of the color now even on the top at the edges here lightly thin stroke and here also thin stroke you know, like this way After making here some lighter tone of the color, give like this. Now, uh, next level of the tone I am going to give. So, third layer maximum we have to use three layers, will be better to finish your work little quick and neat now i am taking black and dark blue or prussian blue black and prussian blue i am taking now black and Prussian blue here mixing two colors black color and Prussian blue these two colors I am mixing and little water I am adding here
and spreading like this for the holder your one chin stroke and leave fx like this this thin thin lightings are to leave like this way and the same color add bit water in this this black and Prussian blue color little water add make it little lighter and leave here thin gap and do reflection of this holder like this one. If you find any color bleeding like more, you can remove it by using the wiping technique this wiping technique you can use when you feel that color is bleeding you can remove like this way so this way the reflection I have done and next part handle I am using the same color kept here a patch a little darker and just filling handle take proper and uh, even filling neatly have to fill it like that handle is done now I am using thin brush the point brush like one or two number you can use in round brushes very thin stroke I am giving here at the tip and some areas you can increase the thickness of the stroke like this mm. this one next here the bottom also I am giving same stroke in curve parallel line to elbow line this way I am giving two strokes parallelly to each other. Now, after making these two strokes, below one just you increase brown color and black color mix together and increase the thickness of the stroke somewhere like here keep one patch here one patch patch some areas just increase the thickness of the stroke and the same color the blue color and black color more lightly you take and highlight this portion and other portions make it little dull like this by applying color wherever the white color is there this white lighting is there that lighting the straight area you leave the brightness and rest of the portion you feel like little dull to make the shining and the steel effect this way after making it 
little dark brown you take and fill this bottom portion so for this even you can use big round brush also and always do not forget after using every color wash your brushes every time after using the color when using bright colors very carefully you have to use bright colors like yellow light blue or light green colors you have to check the brush if there is any dark color to the brush that light portions will get spoiled so you have to use very carefully you have to check the brushes always when you changing color once you wash the brush and wipe to the cloth and use for another color this way you have to do the steel object after doing this the down part I am going to do here some uh, missing like here some strokes you put bring more effect and here the same brown color and black color together this way increase some darkness after making it the down portion now here now we are going to do fruits first you wipe the used colors some portion you make it neat and give it for the fresh colors this I am going to color in green color for this I am using yellow and green yellow and green colors sap green and yellow sap green and yellow if you have like big palette uh, you can put all the required colors at a time and you can use now i am using yellow color like fresh and bright color so we have to clean brush properly and wipe to the cloth now take yellow color a bit sap green and here you apply this color lightly and leave some lighting over here and leave lighting in the middle and spread the just spread the water slowly you leave bright area like this after that once again slowly wash the brush and do again leave the lighting then it looks like gradient effect the bright portion is highlighting and surroundings are a bit darker than that now use sap green and fill this bottom and here also do some darker effects and again these endings 
clean the brush, wipe to the cloth and blend the color and smudge with the lighter area like this. this way the dimension of the fruit comes perfect if you follow the light and darks properly now next the green and bit black use and make this edge bit darker just green and very less black in this don't use black more in a gradient effects check the proper and uh, balanced color suitable color and gradually have to increase the darkness the color must be just bit darker than the previous color like that slowly how to develop the darkness here next here I am going to do apple to make apple this first I am using yellow and just spreading yellow color to this end Mm, with little red and black first I am applying yellow like this filling this entire portion now in wet condition only immediately just taking yellow and red became light orange this light orange i am blending some portion of this and leaving this yellow as it is like this in wet condition if you apply any other color will blend properly you no need to blend wantedly, it blends like this. After the red color, direct in same wet condition, little thick with less water, as I do in proper shape. like this and blend this color slowly in this area now just these all colors together wipe the brush wash and wipe to the cloth and just blend the is plain brush without color without water just this color applied color only slowly you blend with this surroundings this way after that here also some dark color this way after making it again the same red color little bit black you have to add in this water must be very very less and do some darker portion here at the bottom area wash the brush and leave this portion until it dry now same colors we have to do even inside here first 
filling aloe with a fresh and neat brush. And surroundings with light green like this is done a little yellow here to make some yellowish feel next here also same yellow color bit and in wet condition as we did the same method in this apple light orange and red red and black mixed red so darker red like this this way we have to do the reflections after reflections this bottom part with a light blue I'm taking just keeping light blue strokes this this way just filling light blue the surroundings like some cloth area effect we are doing here and even here down and leave some thin thin gaps like this thin thin white gaps this way to show the pattern the design on the towel next after filling this way just a bit darker color you take the same light blue and this angle pattern you do like this and this way here also if you spread that looks the portion is in dark the towel till here like this here also some pattern you can show in continuity also here also show the pattern and continuity like this this way now we finally use again point brush and take little darker color and just give the highlight like 
operations this and here for the stem here for the stem and make some separations give, giving some darker effects at the edges with the dark color. Like this. And here some darker shell. Study mm. so shadow here at the bottom, likely. Like this. Now increase with darker effects at the side mainly. Here and here increase the darkness by using only black color like to make it more effective some areas like this this way this our object is ready now this handle also little darker you make the bottom and give some pattern to this cloth this fx ratio light strokes like this okay students like this you also practice uh, using colors water colors and the balancing of the tones and all after that try one more still life and develop your watercolor skills bye